Hey there, I'm the Highlander. Um, I want to talk today about uh, something I bought. And um, it's the Oculus Rift S, the uh, VR headset. Now, I want to give you my first impressions. Uh, if you're into VR, then uh, I, at least it's what I've always done. I've always uh, doubted which, uh, which thing to get. Uh, will it fit the thing that I want to do with it? Uh, how are other people's experiences? And it's always very difficult to, uh, to get a, you know, to find someone who does exactly the thing that you do and, uh, or has the same system as you have. Uh, I'm always a little bit, um, annoyed maybe is a good word, uh, some of these flashy YouTubers, they have like all of the headsets. Some of them are, are like given to them, it seems, and they, or, or they have all of them to try, whatever. I don't have that. Nobody has it. I think most people are just trying to just get into VR maybe. Um, and some people will have some experience. I'm, I want to give you my experience, uh, which is based on, on, uh, the stuff that I've had before because I've had VR sets before. So that's going to be my reference. Uh, and, and I just want to talk about some of the things that I noticed just getting it and buying it and, uh, doing all. So up front, I, I bought this, uh, I bought the Oculus Rift S. Uh, I bought it new. I bought it from Oculus. Um, I bought it with my own money. Uh, it's been a year in the making getting this thing because I've gone through a lot getting it. I've had I've had one ordered. Uh, money's been stolen from me. It's a long story. I won't go into that now. But I finally uh, had some money and I bought it for three hundred and fifty euros, um, which is at a time that the Rift S is actually end of life. Uh, in the terms of Oculus, because it has been passed now by the uh, Quest 2, which is not only a mobile set, but it's it, it doubles as uh, uh, a tethered, like, to the PC kind of desktop VR set. So I play Elite Dangerous with it, mostly. I will play uh, racing games, project cars, uh, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa, perhaps. Um, those are the games that I can play without getting nauseous uh, or experiencing nausea. Uh, I, ca I can't play uh, uh, platform games. I can't play first-person shooters uh, in VR. And I, I, uh, basically, s sitting down games are the things that um, that do it for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna first talk about the things because if i tell you what i think of it now that is based on what i've on my experiences before so the first set that i had ever was the oculus dk2 this is the development kit 2 i never had the first one um i got the dk2 for i think 75 euros something like that and I got it at a moment that the DK2 was end of life as well. And the first time that I started the Oculus software, it already told me that my headset wasn't supported, which was quite a harrowing experience because um, it wouldn't work. You know, I had to really go through something to make it work. But in the end, it did work. I had an old AMD uh processor in my pc which i think it was the 4300 the bulldozer architecture um something in uh, of that sort and it 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 was fine and i only use it for elite dangerous and i i had to turn back turn down the graphics uh but it was fine it was it was so overwhelmingly immersive uh that i that i uh was sold on vr i loved it the downsides of the dk2 were uh primarily the screen door effect 
uh, especially reading small print, I had to really lean in and squint my eyes and then I could read the small print in Elite Dangerous. Um, but at least the DK2 had enough degrees of freedom for me to lean in and, it, and, it, and that worked. The fact that it had a cable on uh, on the back of my head and, and I mean, I'm always attached to my PC anyway. I feel like Neo in the Matrix with that thing in the back of his head. I, I j uh, uh, that's, I've accepted that when I have my headset on, I don't have anything wireless. So, uh, but the screen door effect for me was the, the key thing that I, uh, that made me say, I want something that doesn't have the screen door effect. So I bought this, I bought the Pimax 4k also used. I think for the same kind of price, I don't really remember, for around 70, uh, 70 bucks, 75 bucks, it was uh, a good experience because I think it it required the least performance of my PC. I think I, I used that with an Intel i7 uh, and I had a 970 an NVIDIA GTX 970 card, graphics card, and it ran fine. I, I felt like I could push it to the, to the max and it would, and it would, uh, perform very well. Um, the, the, the biggest downsides of the Pimax, uh, were two things, the software support, it's a Chinese product. I'm not saying it's bad because it would work. Anything that Steam VR could handle, anything that Oculus, it would just do it. Um, but the Chinese just have a different view on how software should work. Uh, the layout was messy. Uh, the, uh, uh, everything would work, but it wouldn't give you the the. <clears throat> it wouldn't give you the um, the the you know, uh, the feeling of reliability, uh, the installation procedure is, it was in Chinese. You'd have to, uh, turn off your, your virus checking and all that. So, and if I, uh, it wasn't backward compatible. So, uh, once I, I updated my drivers and, and, and my software and it just wouldn't work anymore. So I'd, I'd have to go back and luckily that worked, but so the Pimax, the software was a big downside, uh, and uh, more importantly, uh, I it didn't have the degrees of freedom. I couldn't lean in anymore. It could do uh, yaw, it could do pitch, it couldn't do roll, just yaw and pitch. That was it. Oh, and I, and I I think I could go left and right, but forward and back, nope, no, it didn't work. Uh, it didn't have screen door effect. Uh, that uh, I think I already said that, but that that was uh, pretty good. Uh, and and the 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 by far the largest um, reason for me to to stop using the Pimax VR was the magnetometers that they use to do the head tracking. Magnetometers, any device that I have, and maybe it's just linked to my location, but any device that I have that uses magnetometers is it suffers from massive drift. If I have, to, if it, 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 during a game session, I'd be pressing the recenter like, like, uh, once every 30 seconds, you know, you know, every, every couple of minutes. Uh, and if I didn't for a while, I noticed that my view would go that way and have to press. Okay. I'm back. That just, uh, uh, made me, made me decide pick it up to spend the extra money on the oculus rift s so this is the first time that i have a, a new vr uh set with the actual controllers um i don't have to buy any extra wires i don't have to uh, buy any head straps or whatever what comes in the box is what helps and what works for me. Uh, I have a new, I, I, I have, again, I have a different system now. I have uh, a Ryzen 
7, 2500, not, not top end, but good. And I have a 1080 Ti, so an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti, which is um, not the latest, uh, but it's definitely up there in speed. It doesn't do ray tracing, but it's a good card. I can beat it 2060, just not at ray tracing. And and for VR, especially in uh, in the games that I play, it's it's perfect. Uh, Rift S, uh, the software installation of Oculus has definitely matured. Uh, the ex the initial experience is very positive. I can connect it, and it recognizes everything, and it works. Um, the initial setup is very funny because the room setup. Uh, they they've done it in a way is that you you I I sat down but I could have done it standing up because for some reason they support the standing up thing as well. So you stand up and you're sort of in a virtual box, and you start by pushing the floor down to ground level. Like with one of the controllers, you just push it down, and when you hit the ground, it knows okay that's the ground. So no measuring, no entering the number of centimeters or whatever. Uh, and then you, with the controller again, you draw a line around you on the floor, all virtual, and then it knows, okay, those are the boundaries. And if that is like uh, two by two meters or at least one by one meters, it'll say that's enough room. And that's the procedure for, for setting it up. The Rift S has cameras they call that the inside out system. So where the um, uh, the Pimax uses magnetometers to track your head, this uses cameras. So it, it just looks for objects in the space around you and that tracks your head, which is no more drift. Perfect. It doesn't mean that you're always fixed because I've if I turn my head and I open the Oculus Home, it'll be over there, you know, so you can still reset the the view, but it won't drift at least. So that is perfect. Uh, no more screen door effect, negative on the screen door effect. So I, I see I see none of it. If the Oculus Rift S had not been, uh, well, it isn't. It isn't my, my first VR system, so I'm blown away by the fact that it doesn't have a screen door effect. If the Rift S is your first experience, you're likely to think, oh, okay, this is VR, that's nice. But it's it's come a long way, and I've, I've experienced the long way. So for me, that is amazing. Um, the headset itself, it's it's the, the biggest and the heaviest headset that I've had on my head. So far, nothing has beaten the PSVR headset. But the, the Rift S is definitely a good second. It's a, it's a big and heavy set um, by feel. I, I haven't weighed them, but the Pimax is very light. The DK2, I can't even remember it so long ago. Um, but the Rift S is a, is, 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 is a hefty thing, but it has a very good PSVR-like thing. Uh, I have a big head, so I have to max it out to the to like the max size. Uh, but I can tighten it, and it has a strap on that on the thing, and it and it sits. It's fine. I can, you know, sometimes I have to adjust it a little to get the, you know, to get to hook my peepers in right so that I can, uh, you can see correctly. <coughs> you can set the uh, the the IPD distance. The thing that I that I um. Uh, that I was very surprised about is that it has audio. It has speakers. So I was worried about, uh, can I put my headset on with my, with the Pimax and the DK2, I could just put my over ear headset on and they're a, they're a big set. The, 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 like this clunky old thing, but it, this is like, I, I don't have to have this, but this is what I have. It doesn't fit over the Rift S. So I was worried that I that I have to put like earbuds in, uh, but you don't have to because there's sound. You can hear it. There's speakers. 
it's obviously it's not the the best experience you can have, but it's definitely not bad. I was surprised. I wasn't even surprised at first. I was just hearing music. I said, oh, okay, it's music. And then I'm thinking, wait a minute. I don't have my headset on. How can I hear music? It just comes from the set itself. It does have a little jack. So I, I, I you know, a three and a half uh, millimeter jack. And, 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 and I do use my earbuds now, but I have to work that out. Um, so that is, uh, that is fine. It does require uh, a, a display port and a USB 3.0 uh, connector on your PC, but you know that's just a, a thing with any VR set, I suppose. Um, on the box, funnily enough, I know that the Quest 2, uh, you have to have a Facebook account. This says on the box, you, you, you probably can't read it, but it says, a Facebook account required, but not. I have a Facebook account, but I also have an Oculus account, and the and the Oculus account is enough. For the for the Rift uh, S, I don't have to have a Facebook account. Um, what else? Uh, when I first started it, uh, it's super confusing uh, in the sense that you have you have Oculus Home. When you put the thing on, it recognizes that you. You're, that you're putting the thing on and, and the Oculus Home or the Oculus Store starts. <clears throat> but I have Steam games. Uh, so the Oculus Home software says, okay, I, I've detected that you have these VR games in Steam. Would you like to import them? And, and then uh, you say, yes, you have to tell the Oculus Home that you will allow non oculus games uh to be run uh and then you can start steam vr as well steam vr is an app inside oculus so then you go to the steam vr home and you can also start your 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 games from there that just threw me for a loop and that to to, to top things off i have elite dangerous and i bought it from uh, the Frontier Store. I have a partner key installed so that it is uh, recognized in Steam so that Steam VR can see it so that I can run VR with it. Now I've had to add an Oculus partner key so that it is also recognized within Oculus. <coughs> it then installs uh, Elite Dangerous as well. I think I now have three installations. One from the Epic Store. Let's not mention that one because I've not even tested that yet. One uh, from... Uh, I haven't installed the Steam one, but I've installed the... Of course, the Frontier one. And now, now I have an Oculus one as well, which I'm probably not even going to use. So uh, I had um, uh, Polybius... Polybius on Steam uh, VR, which worked fine, but when I started it, it wouldn't start. the The Polybius just said, "I don't see any VR set," even though Steam VR was running, and that sort of panicked me because I thought, "Okay, how am I going to now play my VR games uh, that are not in the Oculus Store?" Uh, but this morning, uh, it was just a reboot apparently because this morning I I played I just started Polybius, uh, f I think from the Steam VR, I, I I think I started Steam VR, home and then I started Polybius from there and it worked. So I'm 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 still trying to get my head around how the software works. What all the settings are, um, but at least you know I'm 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 not stressing because it doesn't work because I had Elite Dangers working just like that. I did have to get the partner key in the Frontier Store, but I already knew about that. So about the device itself, it's not super light. <coughs> um, yes, I have a cable. I know that. I have the sound. I like that. I have all the degrees of freedom so i can go forward backward tilt rotate up and down all the all the things work with the rift s i can i can i can look around me right with the pimax vr i couldn't look around me because it's just the the 
not enough degrees of freedom. So the Pimax VR are very limited. No screen door, but limited in the, in, in the movement. And now we can just... Because especially in Elite Dangerous, your cockpit is drawn... The, the entire ship exists. So now I can just look around. I can even stand up probably and, and, and walk towards it. I don't know. <coughs> um, the controllers... Um, these jobbies, uh, really, really funny how how they manage to do this. Uh, it's it's really cool. <laughs> the the like the opening, uh, you know, they 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 start like an opening little mini game, whatever, just to make you get used to that, and you can actually grab things, and you can uh, even uh, when I when I. When I move my thumb and touch the buttons without pressing them, I can see the little animation of my of my hand uh, is moving. So, uh, and you can point your finger, you can grab stuff, and they've they've done a really uh, stand up job uh, with that with the development of those controllers. They they work really well. I haven't tried any any Beat Saber kind of other kind of VR games. Uh, I'm I'm not about to try mobile games. I'm not a, you know, I didn't buy it for for stand up experience. Um, but but seeing how it works now, I I I think I I might just do it. Um, overall, I'm I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the quality. I'm happy with uh, the way this the software works. Although it is still quite complex. Um. Uh, the the IPD settings, you know, uh, that just work. You have to sort of measure the distance between your pupils. I've had to ask my daughter and my wife to do it, and uh, they came up with a number, and and I punch it in, and it kind of works. Uh, what else? Yeah, it doesn't come with any documentation, but uh, it's all just go online, download stuff, and it'll and it'll just work. So. Yeah, I I would for the games that I play, uh, sitting down games, uh, it's purely tethered to the desktop kind of VR. Um, for the price, I think you can't beat it. My system, I think, would be strong enough to support the Quest Two. If I look at the minimum system specs, it probably would. Uh, but you have to the with the quest 2 your system is going to have to do more um also the quest 2 needs wireless access to the internet where i am i don't have wi-fi i could have it but i don't want an access point here so uh i i have to have it uh like cabled to the pc <coughs> um the quest 2 requires a facebook account you have to have a facebook account if for any reason your Facebook account is blocked, what happens then? I don't know. So the Quest 2 wasn't an option for me because of the the fact that I don't really need uh, to stand up and, and do the things that the Quest 2 was actually made for. Uh, also, I'd have to have the Elite head strap. I'd have to buy a really expensive cable that would make the Quest 2 a lot more expensive than the than the thing that I have now. So, uh, verdict, a verdict. I, I, I'm not gonna uh, not. I'm not gonna give a. I'm I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. For a person in my position, I would recommend it. If you've never done VR. For God's sake, go and try it somewhere. If you experience nausea with everything you do in the system, then VR isn't for you. And I and I know many people who VR, you know, they they just can't handle it. They just get sick. I know people who, who don't get sick at all. I get sick in some games. Uh, so luckily for the games that I want to play, I don't get sick. So uh, try it somewhere. Um. If you don't have a lot of money, it's easier now to get a used set. Make sure you don't get scammed by anyone. Um, but you could get a Pimax, and it, it it wouldn't be expensive, but it would at least give you a sense of okay, this is VR, and then and then you move on. 
if you if you have the money and uh, you've tried it and you can do what you can get a Rift S or you can you know you you can you can spend thousands on VR sets right now. This guy's happy uh, with what he has, so if you have any questions, uh, just put it down in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.